This is a tutorial for uh, basil stalls or vertical stalls that kind of usually come from fishtails. Okay, so here are the stalls. You can see there and there, inside and the outside stall. I think, yeah, we can all agree Sebastian Burger made these famous. Uh, you can't hold it there for ages, but it'll crawl. So here's the hand path. It's kind of this curvy V, like the V for Vandetta V. Kind of bounces down and then goes to the outside. And you're trying to keep your hand on the opposite side to your forearm when it gets to that vertical stalled position. And there, it flips off again. He's been doing it almost from static. So you see it's not completely centered on the staff, but it's pretty central. Here's me doing it from the fishtail. And when am I going to do it? There it is. So it's kind of like lacrosse. You kind of hold it into that vertical position. I'm not really. Okay, what am I doing? I'm just apparently laughing. I must have dropped it. Okay. Uh, and then I go into forward fishtails and then back into reverse fishtails. So you can see that set. Stall obviously does change direction. And here's an alternate hand position for the stall. This is how uh, Aiden, or Aido P, originally did it. It's the thumb lock. You see there, my thumb replaces the back of my hand as the part on the other side of the staff. And obviously, you're going to have, you know, forces coming in from both sides of the staff one the thumb, one the forearm. Kind of like the pressure log, except the pressure log has three parts that you give the force. You see the thumb. The thumb is kind of easier to use. You don't have to twist your hand in such a strange way. You don't have to have so much flexibility in your hand. The thumb is more likely to uh, do it. But it's the same stall. Which is the way you choose. Okay, bye.